Writing makes me feel so many things and it depends on my mood, but most of all, it makes me feel such a sense of relief. If I didn't express myself, I would probably just burn up inside. It also makes me feel really empowered and proud of myself when I get to write something and I feel good about it. I wanted to write a poem that was positive. I wanted to write a poem about loving myself. Loving yourself is a lot about forgiving yourself. You know, being queer is not just about the way that you love other people, but I think it's also about the way that you love yourself. Dearest Jelena, I know this is how you've started every long and tumbling letter you wrote to the girls you thought you loved. I know they never seemed to appreciate it, never seemed to understand the afternoon walks you spent composing syllables into stars for them, or the late and hushed nights you spent desk strewn with markers when you convince flowers to grow across the corners of each page, when you dip your pen into the vast ink of your heart every time you signed your name in cursive. You wrote names like they were holy, like if you could only be careful enough use your most even and rose petal strokes, you could coax angels from the letters. I know that they always took weeks to respond, and that crumpled you. And when they did respond, you wouldn't even let yourself read it until the time felt right. So you'd carry their letters with you all day until they were warm, a live beating bird in your left jacket pocket. But their words were always a sigh drop of the shoulders, metal disappointment in your mouth. You don't know why you haven't learned to expect this, but you'd break both wrists before you'd stop twisting everything into romance and symphony. So tuck your lovelorn bones into the creases of an envelope, slip it in my locker. I'll save every note in the shoebox beneath my bed. In the meantime, we can sneak out onto your rickety roof to converse with stars, tiptoeing across the shingles, giggling at every creak we make. I know Orion like the back of your hands, but I'll still let you trace it for me, because I know it's your favorite, because it's the only constellation you can rely on to see each night. Let me be Orion, and I'll kiss your favorite freckle, the one on your jaw next to your right ear lobe every night before you sleep. It's not really a freckle, it's a mole. You just like the word freckle more because you care about little things like that, because you carry insignificance like it's heavy in the palm of your hands. And you talk like birdsong in the morning. A little annoying, yes, but always endless. Always back there for more and more and more.